Hi, welcome at histocam.com. Today I'm going to show you how the Rocco Shaw Type 89 is working. In the previous video you already saw uh, how I repaired uh, the shutter. There's also a very long video uh, where you can see uh, how I disassemble and reassemble uh, the whole mechanism. Now, uh, this one is completely repaired, it's uh, lubricated, uh, everything that it, uh, it needed, and I want to show you how it, how it works. So, like I uh, already told in the previous video, this camera is a military camera used uh, in a zero, uh, zero plane of the Japanese army. Um, it was a training uh, device for the rear shutter. Uh, the rear shooter, I'm sorry, and also uh, for the pilot, that then you have uh, the built-in model, but I will uh, explain that uh, later. So, how it is working? It's working with a big spring that is over here. You have to wind up uh, the spring and when you uh, release the trigger, it is releasing uh, the spring and it is starting to turn the whole mechanism. Um, the whole mechanism that will allow here, when you put put in a film, the film is turning with a shutter that is inside here, uh, will uh, be uh, pictures taken as if you are about to shoot. Also, here inside, there is a little crosshair, something like like this. You maybe can see it, it's a little bit uh, dark, a little crosshair, and that is um, also taken on the film. What is also filmed at the same time is a watch that is placed over here. A watch um, that will be um, filmed with this lens, and normally there is a little mirror over here that will do the trick but i explain it better in uh, another video the video of um, repairing uh, the shutter now let me explain uh, with uh, with this camera how it works you have here on top a sort kind of indication how far you are turning the spring so this is the handle with this handle you are winding the camera and you see over here the small indication which is telling you how far you can wind okay let's stop here now As you can see over here, here is a trigger. When you pull the trigger inside here, there is a mechanism that will just turn this little pin just like that. And you already hear it how the mechanism works. You turn the pin over here. When you take a look at the other side, this pin that will pull the whole bar to here with a certain certain kind of um, how can I, I explain it a kind of um, safety mechanism uh, not to unload the, the spring too much but I will show that at the end the bar is going straight through this and is here blocking the shutter so when I pull over here, the whole mechanism is starting to turn. You see also this one over here, this piece. It is moving a bar that is over here. And that is just the indication how much you can, you can shoot with it before the spring runs out. So let's see it. So now it stops. Why does it stop? Because here 
that bar is pushing a little piece of metal that is pushing the the hook that's underneath here pushing the hook away so it is not impossible anymore to pull that bar and to let the spring um, go further loose so it is a little safety mechanism uh, not to uh, release the spring too much because otherwise you will have a problem that the spring is uh, jumping off its uh, of its holding uh, uh, screws so let's turn it back on Let's see how the film mechanism is working. So you have these film containers, which you can place over there. The film is just going around this little piece of, of, of metal, going over here. You can pull this away in there it's coming back up and it's spooling in the other cartridge so let me release it you so I can show you how it's turning you see it is pretty pretty fast at the same time inside here there is a uh, shutter that is uh, turning uh, with it and that is how this machine gun is exactly working there's also a little counter over here which shows you how much shots are already taken so as you can see it's going pretty fast now that is also why normally on a machine gun you don't pull the trigger and you keep it over there because otherwise you run out of bullets in uh, seconds it is the you have to uh, to, to pull uh, in burst shots and that is why over here the watch um, is filmed with it so you can see how long the shooter is pulling the trigger now to, to uh, complete this video I will show a little picture there was uh, on one of my cameras there was a negative uh, in it and here you see uh, a picture of that, that negative that I uh, put on, uh, on photo paper and here you see clearly the view that you, uh, that you have shot you see the crosshair on that um, that glass plate that is uh, inside of uh, the camera and over here you can see clearly the watch that is uh, filmed with it so this was a little explanation how the Rocco Shaw type 89 is working I hope to see you back on uh, some other videos of uh, histocam.com thank you for watching